What's the word, YouTube? It's your boy BT Pop Out coming back with another video for y'all. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Ben Man Kevo and his son. You hear me? Now, if y'all all don't know Ben Man Kevo, that's a big Chicago artist slash whatever y'all wanna call him, entrepreneur. He got big off, you know what I'm saying, his come up in the game. You know what I'm saying? They allegedly said he was a scammer. And he said he was, so we just gonna say he was. You feel me? Like, well, yeah. If y'all didn't know, Band Man Kevo, he had a son. You see what I'm saying? Now, I knew Band Man Kevo had a son because I, I'm tied in with some people in Kalamazoo. I actually got cousins in Kalamazoo, so I know. I knew of his son. You feel me? I knew what what shorty used to. You know what I'm saying? Who he run with? What the crowd he run with? I know how. You know what I'm saying? With how he get? You feel me? But now. As y'all all may know, Bandman Kevo's son was recently killed in Kalamazoo, Michigan. You see what I'm saying? He was killed in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And when it first came out, the bloggers was just saying he was he was selling something. He was trying to sell something. And then they tried to and then they robbed him and killed him. But that's why you gotta always give it time for truth to come out. You see what I'm saying? Like okay that's what they saying but the truth just came out today or we all don't know though but his ops on facebook dissing him as y'all see in the screenshots and shit his ops on facebook dissing him being disrespectful towards him and <clears throat> y'all already know i already know how they finna come for shorty because who shorty was you see what I'm saying? And then they when when it first happened, they all was bashing Bandman Kevo because you so rich. This what they this what they saying, not me. You so rich. And you out here living this your best life, but you don't got your kids out there with you living your best life. You see what I'm saying? Like you got all this money in the world, but your kids still stuck in the trenches. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm going to be real, bro. If I was in the same position Ben Man Kevo was in or in right now, I wouldn't have my kids back in the trenches or where I know it get wild at. And then his friends, Ben Man Kevo's son friends, saying that Kevo don't even look out for little Kevo. You see what I'm saying? Like, they say Kevo don't even look out for his son. He don't even send him nothing. And then the news articles coming out, they saying he was trying to go sell something and he got robbed. And that's what they were saying at first. But then come to find out, that's not what happened. So it just came out today that Bandman Kevo's son allegedly stole somebody's tax money. You see what I'm saying? He allegedly stole tax money and supposedly... The dudes that he took the money from got up with them and, you know what I'm saying, did what they did. But he, Bandman Kevo's son, shot both of the both of the dudes that uh, shot him, that killed him. He shot both of the dudes. And you see in the screenshots his friend saying he ain't going out, he ain't go out like no, no HOE. You see what I'm saying? Like. But that was gangster though for him to go out like that. But then again, you got to think about it. If Ben Man Kevo was taking care of his son, his son wouldn't have been having to steal tax money from people or doing this, that, and the third. But then again, you got to look at the parents. You see what I'm saying? If the parents stay on their kids' head, their kids won't have to be out here doing stuff like that. You feel me? So it's like this. If I got kids... And I know I'm wealthy and rich. My kids not finna be in the trenches. My kids' mama not finna be in the trenches because I know if my kids or my kids' mama in the trenches, it's possible that something can happen to my kid or to my baby mama. You see what I'm saying? And then people got to think about it, bro. When people here in Michigan, they think they always think Detroit. Detroit ain't the only city in Michigan, bro. 
That's what y'all need to realize. Detroit not the only city in Michigan. You got Kalamazoo. You got Benton Harbor, 269. That's my that's my city too. Benton Harbor get wild. You hear me? And then you got Benton Harbor people in Kalamazoo. And they getting wild in Kalamazoo. My cousin got killed in Kalamazoo. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know people in Kalamazoo that's actually sliding in Kalamazoo. I done been to Kalamazoo sliding before. When when some shorties was whiffing at me over a female, they from Kalamazoo, right? They was whiffing at me over a female. And me and bro, we load up the, you hear me? We load up the V, we hit straight Kalamazoo. We should head straight to Kalamazoo. You see what I'm saying? Searching hours. And then my cousins and them got locked up in Kalamazoo after my big cousin died for slide. And they ain't even from Kalamazoo. You see what I'm saying? So it's like Kalamazoo not, definitely not no sweet place. It get busy in Kalamazoo. And it's Chicago residents in Kalamazoo. My uncles, I got uncles that's GEs from Chicago that stay in Kalamazoo. You see what I'm saying? Like... So Kalamazoo definitely get wild. You got Kalamazoo, you got Grand Rapids, you got Muskegon, Muskegon Heights. You got Ben Harbor. You feel me? Detroit. Shout out Detroit. I got my I got some homies in Muskegon too. I got some homies in Grand Rapids. 616. Shout out 616. But yeah, this is that's what I say. If he would have had his son out there with him, his son wouldn't have to be allegedly stealing no money from nobody. His son would already be wealthy. You see what I'm saying? And they said that he used to always talk about his dad and praise his dad because he loved his dad. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody calling Bam Man Kevo out because they saying he ain't, you know what I'm saying, take care of his son. But then y'all got to think about it. The parents, though, his mama should... His mama should have been having him stay in the house instead of having him being outside because if he wasn't outside so much, he wouldn't have been, you know what I'm saying, dead right now. He wouldn't have been roaming the streets. He wouldn't be doing the stuff that he's doing. Same thing with Kevo. If he had took his son with him out there, he wouldn't have been, you hear me? He wouldn't have been dead right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, y'all got to think about it, parents. And in the in, in, in in household of a child, you can't just leave your baby mama with the, with her child. And then, you know what I'm saying, she just got to take care of the child by herself. Because you got to think about it. The mama going to work every day trying to pay the bills by herself. For one. While she gone, she could tell him to stay in the house. But it's up to him if he want to listen or not. You see what I'm saying? It's up to him if he want to listen or not. And obviously, he wants the type to listen. That's why a dad is needed in every household. Because the mamas, granted, women strong, but you got to think about it. Men stronger than women. A dad is always needed in the household. So, that's crazy. If he, if Bam Man Kevo would have had his son out there with him, then it would never happen. But let's just keep this as a lesson learned. Let's look at this as a lesson learned, kids. Stay up out the streets. No matter if you're going through something, if you know you can't get to it, you don't have to go rob nobody to get this money. You can just go work hard for this money. And he could have did anything. He could have just reached out to his pops or anything. You see what I'm saying? Even if he ain't respond back, he could have got a hold to him in some type of way. But now you see Batman Kevo grieving. But if you would have been reaching out to your son, you wouldn't have to be grieving right now, bro. And I rock with Batman Kevo, you feel me? But let's just look at this as a lesson learned, y'all. Kids, stay out the streets. The streets don't love nobody, don't take nothing from nobody. Because you know them people going to come back looking for it. And it, you know what I'm saying? It's going to go all bad. Because if you taking something from somebody, these people can know where you stay. They can pop up where your mama stay. You putting your mama in danger. You putting the other kids in the household at danger. So look at that as a lesson learned, y'all. 
It's your boy BT Pop Out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and tune in. Cause I'm finna keep dropping bangers for y'all. Long live the look, long live the look, Kevo. Shout out Ben Man Kevo. I hope, you know what I'm saying? My condolences go out to the family and all. And shout out my boys in Kazu, you feel me? And that was foul that y'all did that to Shorty, cause he a kid. You see what I'm saying? But long live Shorty. And it's your boy BT pop out. I'm checking out. Gang.